Hey everybody, welcome to another good e-reader video. My name is Michael. This is Peter. As you can see, we're in a completely dark room, and what does that mean? Nighttime reading test. Kindle Paperwhite 2 versus the Kobo Aura HD. So we've turned on the Kobo Aura HD to 1%. We're going to now take it through the ranges. So as you can see, it's 100%. We'll leave it on 100 for now as we turn both of these guys on, and we'll adjust them afterwards. So here's the Kindle Paperwhite 2. You'll notice that we've reached the end of the bar, but we have a new icon here that says Max. If we press Max, it goes one step further to basically setting number 25, I suppose. So, so do you can see ahead. for yourself like the how the screens look different here. I'd probably say that the Paperwhite 2 almost looks a little bit more crisper in terms of it being white. Uh, but you guys can see for yourself, this is just my sort of impressions yeah, here. Yeah, the naked eye kind of show, it's a lot better than on camera because the eye is more complex, but the background looks a lot more white than this. This looks like a little bit more of a faded gray, but uh, the, the one of the selling factors of the Kindle Paperwhite 2 was its contrast. It was heavily upgraded. Right, so what we're going to do just because of what people normally request we're going to kind of just turn it down to you know like a, a common sort of display level here so we're not going to read at the max because um, it could quickly become overwhelming and people tend to in really dark environments not read it at the maximum brightness settings anyway so this is just sort of what it looks like in the ebook experience here with it sort of at the 70% range. If you're not familiar with what front light technology is, it's basically lights located around the bezel shining onto the screen rather than behind it. And what this actually means is that when you're sleeping in bed or something, you'll notice that it only go the light only goes about maybe 6 to 12 inches of actual distance. So you're not going to really disturb anybody if As you're sleeping with someone. To like a backlit display right. like an iPhone it basically would light up the whole room because the light's actually coming from behind the screen rather than being splashed onto the screen yeah. like front light technology. So basically it's designed for readers in mind because the light is not emitting into your eyes. It's just evenly distributed on the screen, which Precisely. makes it easier to read. So this is the book experience with the glow light on each of these. I mean, if you want to nitpick, which we do because it's our job, we can obviously see which one's better, which one's uh, lacking. But I mean, they're both they both have enough range so you can find that comfortable level. They both show the light properly. There's no bleeding. There's no uh, inconsistencies throughout its range. It's it's quite good on both of these devices. Let's turn it about like 40, 50 or so. Okay. And you can kind of get a sense on how it looks. Starting As you can see dark. on the lower setting, the aura actually, I think, is a little bit brighter on the screen. It does seem like it's brighter throughout all of its range. And um, we've noticed a lot of people say, hey, even at one, um, it's kind of it's kind of still bright. And uh, in the studio, it is kind of evident that they don't quite make it dark enough. It does seem that any setting is a little bit brighter than you want it. But, um, I mean, everyone's trying to one-up each other, right? So... Yeah, all in all, I think what, there's a lot of glow light e-readers on the market right now or front-lit displays. I think Kobo has a more brighter range compared to the competition. So if that's what you're looking for, uh, probably the Kobo is your best bet in terms of the e-reader out there with the brightest display. Whereas the Kindle Paperweight 2, it's fairly refined with its front-lit technology. And I think it does give you... Compared to the the Kobo Aura HD, I think the front light technology is a bit better. So let's hear what you think. You can drop a comment on this video and uh, tell us your thoughts. What do you like better? The reasons why? For all the latest news, previews, interviews, and industry-wide coverage, you can check out our main website at goodyreader.com. And for a nighttime reading test between the Kindle Paperwhite 2 and the Kobo Aura HD, my name is Michael. And this is Peter. Everybody take care.